YouTube Spider Gang, MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching Barbershop. The only reason that I know about Barbershop is because of Ice Cube. Obviously, he's like the face of Barbershop. No one actually requested this one, so it was shocking to me, but I wanted to watch it myself because I've never actually fully seen this movie. <clears throat> I know it's about some kid who inherits his dad's shop after he passes away, and he has some, I guess he doesn't like the shop. He, like, I don't, I don't know what it is. I just know that it has something to do with his father dying and passing down the shop and he just doesn't like it or something like that or it's a waste of time. Like I said, Ice Cube's face is like plastered right on the front. <laughs> it might be other people that come up, but that's the only one I know in this one right now. But nonetheless, I'm still excited to see it and I know you guys are excited to see it as well. So if you are, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to see my full reaction to this movie and every other movie and show on my channel as well as get them early and request movies, go ahead and click that Patreon link down in the description below full movie and show reactions are there that's pretty much all i have to say i'm very exhausted i've had a very long day so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the movie <laughs> I don't know the song. I know a lot of songs like this song, but I don't know this song, so I don't know what this is. Yo, he's bald as heck. The fro. Yeah, I don't recognize none of these names though. I just started going to the salon more because like my hair is like I don't know if you guys noticed my hair is really hard to maintain um so I'm trying to get better with going to the salon to start having it look better but I'm so scared about which salons that I pick and choose because some people don't know how to handle my kind of hair and they will jack it up she a ho, huh? what I said she a hoe <laughs> what hold on we starting kind of wild what is going on that's supposed to be your accomplice and you just threw him off the back of the truck like that oh my god he was trying to set you up <laughs> <laughs> that backfired so bad well y'all are not thinking that one through wait are they stealing an atm oh jesus Christ, I, I hate people who steal ATMs. It's so goofy to me because you know how, how hard it is to break those open? Like, they're literally fail saved like crap. Look at Ice Cube. Oh, oh, oh. No, that wasn't supposed to happen. You can finally make some money off this stuff. Well, that's what you said about the t shirt company and those herbal life vitamins. Okay, well, I wouldn't be mad at him though because he's a productive man with a dream. Why would you be mad at that? You want to get stuff done, you know? If Stepman act up, this is where he got to sleep. Why do you have this? <laughs> motivation. Right, motivation. What you mean? like too many strangers coming in and out of the shop you won't have them coming in and out of the house right it's seven o'clock you're gonna be late for work you better come on okay but i absolutely love the relationship though they're so sweet to each other and like i said it's just the fact that he's a productive man that wants to get stuff done you know he jumped from a bunch of different things but still he wants to get it done want to make some money some way or some people are not productive at all like i want money and then sit on their ass all day so <laughs> Why is she looking like that? She looked like she don't believe him. <laughs> and he didn't even tell a lie. What's going on? Oh, not the car breaking down, sir. Hey, yo, bruh. Shut up. Bruh. Stay strong, bruh. Stay strong, bruh. Really? That was so motivational. First, get your shop open, then start now, I know end. you are not talking to me about how to run my shop. <laughs> I don't tell you how to run your business over there. Maybe he just doesn't want to be a part of the gossip, but he seems like a very good businessman, though. Did you hear about Clarinda? Her husband caught in a club, hunting cookie with another man. Stop gossiping, man. Literally, just op at least open your shop first. Lights went out, bro. Oh my God. I was gonna say, you know what that means? Time to use natural sunlight, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what happened across the street? Man, you know, this neighborhood, it's getting worse every day too. Maybe it's a sign to get out of here. Yo, I don't cut hairs no before hairs, out of the on, door. Man, I'll get hooked up. Oh, come on, dog, don't do me like that. Wow. I mean, he needs the money, I understand, but it depends on how many times he's helped him with it though. Cause if, you done, if he's done it multiple times and he never paid him back, then just forget it. The bank's not gonna give you another loan. We've already given you a small business loan and a grant. That you used on your other businesses. Other businesses? You 
gonna stop using it on the other businesses, man? This is the one that's up and running now. All these other ones aren't even up yet. There's nobody you can talk to. It's not gonna happen. All right, hey, what can you do? So this is based after his father passed and he took over the shop. Obviously he's having some struggles and stuff. I, I, don't, I thought this movie was based beforehand, but I guess not. How'd you do this for 40 years? I gotta do my own thing. I would already did it for 40 years too. I mean, I mean, things could have changed. Like, you know, money could inc be increasing and stuff like that too, you know? But I'm just wondering how did he do it for 40 years? That's a long time to hold up a business. I don't know how to do nothing business-wise, so I, I sound dumb even talking about it, but. Just wondering, was you still interested in what we talked about? Okay, I'll see you then. All right, thank you, Mr. Wild. I hope he's not gonna sell it though. Like, <laughs> that's bro. Oh, you're right. Uh, yeah. Okay. I know both of these actors, so don't be telling me who these actors are in the comments, please, because <laughs> y'all do that too. Kevin, what is wrong with you? Why did you answer the door? And okay, and he's in this too. That's cool. Why don't you look under the bed? Hey, look under the bed. I bet you I would hide a woman under that bed. Just think about that baby face song. How much you wanna bet that girl gonna come out right when he's gonna be talking to her? He is such a player. You could already tell. I don't even gotta know who he is. He's a player. All right, well, let me take my jacket off. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, no, I'm just helping you get your jacket on, baby. It's just... Are you serious? Why did you even come out from under the bed? You should have just stayed under there. You gonna make me catch a case before I gotta go to work? Okay. Where you going? Nowhere. Get up. Oh, oh come on now. Again, women, again. This is, I always say this. Learn, bro. Don't be mad at the person that he cheated with. Be mad at him. Leave them alone. An orange extract, the extra foam in a separate cup, the spooner on myself. She's like, are you serious? Thank you. I will look at them like that too. Like, um, I came here for service just like y'all, so screw you. Man, ass is like money. Hey, you Rick. can never have too man, much. Rick. Huh? Man, I'm <laughs> Hey, Rick. I love places so chill like this. Like you could just talk about anything. Give me an example. I mean, break it down. Okay. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, hey, hey, man, uh, tell us uh, Jennifer Lopez. Her ass ain't even that big. Like what? Now on the other side we got Mother Love. Big ass woman. Hey, but at least he broke it down pretty good though. Hey, you have any idea who uh, poked that hole in Samir's store? No. You sure about that? Was that you? Just playing with you, man. Relax wait you did that no way you're not that stupid there's no way you're that stupid you just gave you just gave ass to waist ratio there's no way you're that dumb ricky here i don't think he had nothing to do with that right ricky been keeping his nose clean ever since he's been working here why you lie you shouldn't even lie come on now this chair free yeah i figured not i'm just trimming me up a little bit trimming what you have nothing on your head <laughs> you're a two-time felon one more it's all over for you brother three strikes you're out yeah why you want to play him like that Hey, 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 come on now, relax, relax. Don't mess up the business just because you angry. Camera at the check cash in place next door. By the end of the day, I will know something. And it better not be something from you, boy. You better turn yourself in right now. I don't know. He's acting weird like he don't want to talk about it. But at the same time, I don't feel like he did anything. Like, I just have a feeling. What? Why that lady look so old with him? Me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's like, mm. <laughs> me too, I feel you. <laughs> she don't even got a lot of booty. I guess that that's considered a lot of booty back then because it's not that much before. They may not view him this way because he's a little lighter or something. I don't know. Mind your business. Oh, <laughs> mind your business. I heard they circumcised the women too. Now how you gonna do that? And he's getting this extra. They just clip it off. Ooh, that that's really messed up. I I heard stories about that, like vagina circumcisions. Oh my god, that thing is like literally mutilization. Just give me your wallet and your jewelry. Won't be no problem. You want them rappers? What you got? You got a Rolex or something? You got? Them? Are you serious? Y'all so scary. <laughs> Boys alone. Sit your old ass down. That dude got so scared. Look at him. You all right, fella. You all right. <laughs> Bro, why are you so angry? Relax. Shaking like booty meat. What is that? Did he just say you shaking like booty meat? <laughs> what the heck? Hey, I said no rap music before 10 a.m. So that means it's past 10 a.m. Good to know. Is that obsession? Five minutes. 
Man, you see that attitude? She can't cut my hair like that, man. Like oh, okay. Talking about she can't. No, I'm straight, dog. Wow, he ain't never gonna be able to get nobody cut. Bro, they messed up for that. So she works at the barbershop too? I didn't know that. Who drank my apple juice? Ooh. Huh? huh? Who drank my goddamn apple juice? Oh. Bro, why do you have a do rag on and have no waves? This man has straight flat hair. Maybe the vibrator. Maybe I'm about to slap you. Don't, don't get on my bad side. You ain't been here nothing but a minute. I'm oh, uh, yeah, I suggest you don't get on her bad side. So, what? Jimmy drank your apple juice. Oh, not you snitching. You touch my moment. apple juice? What does that mean? Now nah, he did put it back though. We seen him though. Do you have the ocular proof? What did, did I you see me drink? Ocular. ocular as a visual. Man, you know, oh, what you see me drink? Why y'all starting beef? He didn't even see him drink it. Knock his college ass up. Hey, hey, hey come on, come on. Tell me what's going on. Hey, stop, him, let him go. No, let him knock his ass up. <laughs> Just sit there and play checkers, okay? Do I look like my father? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you literally look like your father. <laughs> Y'all need to be quiet. Got that man. new DMX, baby. He's going out. You Go. trying to put somebody out, man. Go. You need to put, yeah, you need to put your foot down on these people. They think they can do whatever they want. Mm -mm. Did you drink my apple juice? Quiet man, want to know. If he says yes, I'm going to laugh. How do y'all swear? Y'all better not touch my stuff no more. Aw, he likes her. You can tell he likes her a lot. And, and... Aww. Oh, that's so sad. That that's actually really, really sad though. Cause he likes her. That that literally feels like rejection. That's cause people don't know how to raise their kids right. Oh, Gabby? Don't raise their kids right and your kid riding a scooter through the house. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't talk about how people raise their kids. Okay, so these are the two guys that, that did it, right? Because what other reason would they have an ATM for? You know, they literally drag an ATM to their room. You ain't gonna touch me. I will pass. No, man, don't do that. Nah, don't. don't lay your hands on that little girl. She gonna whoop you. Take it, girl. That's all I got. Go on, get out the room there, girl. <gasps> now she checking. <laughs> she checking to see if it's real. She funny. That's how you lock a door. What? Show <laughs> fuck, man. What? I don't think she's gonna snitch, but... Man, we could do it the same way we stole it, man. The truck. It must have been them that stole it, of course, because they're acting... They're they're acting just as dumb as the people that were there. Civil way, so we can get in here. Oh, them. Oh, my God. This big old dude. Can you just move out the way? Take it down, dog. Oh, take it down. No, take it down. We going down. Take it down. Take it down, brother. Hey, man, you gonna have to fight me down them stairs. Take Knock that burger out of his hand. He'll, he'll move for sure. <laughs> my gosh i know that hurts so bad a whole atm machine squishy your hand like that mm. put a quarter on the counter i might give you a little scoop of these mad potatoes or something mad potatoes zoom. see that right there know what that mean that mean i got seniority senior i mean it technically does mean that seniority he's old as hell you gotta treat your elders with respect you know yeah, it's 74 when desegregation started and they were busting in white this kid is stressed getting his hair picked out right now 275 yards in minnesota and i lined him up right here in the chair and they go to picture to prove it you can't even see his face right <laughs> I don't know, a real picture. That, that sweet little <laughs> is all right. Woo! Dude, I got a patch on my head. Patches up out of there. Wow, you a horrible barber. Look over there. Cut the patch in the boy's head. Got him looking like 101 down me. Uh uh. Bro, you know how much I would sue? Maybe I'll ask a refund or something. Jimmy, what you doing? Shh. Got that little boy sitting over there looking like a. Oh no, yeah, you're done. Oh no, yeah, you're done. You're done. I hope you know that. You're done. <laughs> Look at him. Like you don't even understand how angry I would be if if I come to the barbershop and my kid has a whole bald spot. Like I'm losing it. I want a refund. <laughs> this better be a free cut. You know what I'm saying? Like this guy got a nice little white turtleneck on. How's everybody doing? Ah, that guy's in this too. Nice. My bad. Talking about my bad. He got so quiet in here. You up or <laughs> He's like, no, <laughs> I'm good. 
Eddie. Nigga. <laughs> Eddie called the N word. What the heck? They must not like this guy, and he must actually be selling the barbershop to him. I'm convinced that's what's happening. If you take this money, as good as a contract, I wouldn't want to have any uh, misappropriations going on up in here. No, you need an actual contract to sign. That's not how it works. That's dangerous. Yeah, me neither. Ew, his smile. He's like, mm. <laughs> and a barbershop ain't exactly a cash cow. So I'm gonna turn it into a gentleman's club. Wait a minute. Wow. No, you took the money already. You took the money already. Now he's considering that a contract. You should have listened. You know, the girls dressed up like little barbers can come in and they'll give you a trim. You can get some trim. <laughs> mm -mm. Nah, you should. You shouldn't have did it. He told you, you take that money. It's a contract. I just don't yeah, he knows what happened. Neither can Indian folks. Give Samir me is not Indian. He's Pakistani. He's from Pakistan. I'm just gonna point out one thing that I'm really loving about this movie. Every single character has a unique personality, and I am really, really loving that. It's feeling like Calvin, uh, the one that Ice Cube is playing, has the least personality, but he's the main character, so I think that's what's making the story so enriching. Who the heck? I did not, man, I did not keep moving. Mm, bless her. Yes. What the heck? Why are you looking at his mama's butt? That makes it free, right? I, I, I Ain't was, that I, right? It better. It better make it free. Okay. Yeah, you ain't you messed up, so I don't know what to tell you. I'm glad she cause she was thinking exactly what I was thinking. They couldn't even hold it in. They was trying to be so quiet while she was in there. No, so he is working with them. Is that, is that punk, Jay? Ah. Oh, wait, the ankle. What is wrong with you? Oh my gosh, bro. You didn't even get to answer the phone either. These dudes are stupid. If he hired them, if that's what he was calling and he hired them, he's stupid as hell. I'm not gonna lie. He's dumb for hiring these dummies. <laughs> This is literally like robbing for dummies 101. What the hell you doing, man? He owe me five dollars from a crap game. Man, I ain't paying you. Five dollars? Are you serious? Man, I bring your ass back over here, man. Five dollars, and you're chasing him for that? You know how much you'll get out this ATM if you open it? I got fifty thousand dollars back at the motel. You gonna cause a scene, man? For five dollars? Five dollars? Maybe that okay. I'm starting to think the other one is dumb. Maybe this one's not just dumb, but they do a lot of dumb things together. I don't know. He doesn't seem that dumb. Cause there's a stupid nigga in every bunch that mess it up for everybody. You a dumb nigga. I was say right. You're the stupid one. I would have whooped his ass last Why week when he owed me the money. Him, Shut up. Oh shoot. Keep it moving. Ain't nothing to see here. I lost my head. You understand? Uh uh. Oh my God. It's so difficult. Cause all the cops gonna know that it's them. Use that money. I take my girl out to a real nice dinner. You know, like red lobster. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I hop of shellfish. That is not upscale. I don't hate. All right, Emma. So you're not even spending a lot of money there. You probably don't even know what a scallop is. You know a scallop ain't even a shellfish. You know you get on my nerves. Condoms. Oh, what you bringing dogs in for? Told you one. I know y'all need some dogs, man. I got this one. If you buy this one, you get this one half off. Okay. How did? Okay. Wait. <laughs> he came with CDs the first time, then came out with dogs, diapers, and a hat this time. Like, oh my gosh. Hey, man. He's another one that's productive. Get that off there and lean him back. Lean him back right there. Uh, Roots, give me a hot towel. He don't know nobody's name. Oh, oh give me the hot oh, towel. Lord. Oh, boy. Got the real clean one. My day, Barbara was a counselor, a fashion expert. All right, bro, you're doing too much. Can you just cut this man's face? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> you got no skill, no sense of history. And then, it's always nice when the old folks be teaching lessons because they give like this little quiet, nice music and they're like, aw, memories. Yeah. Calvin. What you do make sure oh. Hey, babe. Can we talk in the back? Tight. What? What's wrong with you? Where'd she come from? She came out of nowhere. Why was he here? To get a haircut. Calvin, Lester Wallace wears a hairpiece. Oh. <laughs> You tried. You tried it. Just be honest. Just tell her what you did. You sold your father's barbershop to Lester Wallace? You know, we're trying to get our recording studio off the ground. What else? Oh, my God. Are you serious? You make all these spontaneous decisions, and then we got to get us out of it. 
It doesn't seem like you're doing it for us very much, you know. But at the same time, he probably did think his bar father's barbershop was, you know, a waste of time. Like, he didn't know what to do with it. Probably didn't make no money from it. Use their station whenever they wanted to. Pay rent whenever they wanted to. And we in debt because of that. Because of him. Mm -hmm. You're not in debt because of your father. Don't say that. Something about Maki coming back, but his ass has too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, there's no way that's what he's saying. This shop had very little debt until you started spending all the money on those get rich quick schemes. I mean, yeah, hello. If you spend the money on the wrong things, you're not gonna be able to put it right back into the shop. That's what you gotta understand with businesses, with any kind of business. You make the money to put it right back in. You spend it to make it, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, it's just a never ending loop. My father used to come here every Saturday. He loved this place. You used to love it too. What happened? They grew up. He probably doesn't seem to point it anymore. The reason he loved it was probably because of his father, but now that he's gone, it's kind of hard, you know? Ah! Hey, pull his sock off for me, too, though. Are these socks clean? Hey, my mama socks me. Man, he finna pull them off. It's finna smell like straight dookie water. Damn. I mean, Ooh. you need a band-aid, man. I'm gonna go get that. A band-aid? He needs to go to the doctor. Man, your foot jacked up. Man, but some dead skin, man. Oh, I need some cocoa butter. Uh-uh, your foot looks dead. Like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What the heck? I know you are not keeping that. Hold on, player. Yo, wait. What? Sit over there, fish. I'll do you next. Either that or go see Eddie. I don't want to see Eddie. <laughs> Nobody want to see Eddie. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Show me the money first. Nah, I would I would get him to show you the money first. I don't trust him. You came back with no money. Put a red Amen. lobster in a church. Oh, come on, Cal. How the hell is he gonna call this type of man? You know what? They do really good, though. The hair look good. You no, know, Jesus wasn't a Christian. He was a Jew. Oh, Lord, Lord. Yeah. Hey, Jim A. Oh, my God. This dude is always just spitting factual crap. Trivia, like you know everything. Right. Guarantees I won't spend the rest of my life behind bars. Unlike That's what it's about. Unlike what? Unlike what? Wow, he's kind of this dude is kind of disrespectful because he's acting like a know-it-all. Barbers respect for occupation, dude. I'm gonna have my own mural. Hell, I might even take over this shop. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I really don't like this guy. I'm, I have a feeling he just he gonna need to get fired. Like you should go uh, see and Kane on, on 75th now. They only room room boils his ribs. That is not authentic. The way that they talk is so funny. Like the way they do the back-to-back -back conversation. Nobody in here want to be a barber for the rest of their life. That's all I'm. Saying. yeah i think calvin calvin is that's the problem he doesn't see the the good in it you know so he's just like no one wants to be a barber for the rest of their life but in reality a lot of these people actually like being a barber hey 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 don't bring your skinny ass back yeah just know you're not getting no more haircuts here man that's why you can't have no business in the ghetto that's why you can't have no business here you must not know me <laughs> why do you have an axe like, what is their objective here? I'm trying to understand. Oh, you missed. Now I'm gonna have to poke you. This man just, he just broke the axe. Just give us the money. Uh-uh. What's my mama code? What's my mama code? Your mama's not gonna have no money. You're welcome, my beautiful black sister. Oh, this kid's smooth. Because I know you drank my apple juice. Did you juice. see me drink it? I don't care. Did you see me drink? I'm being real nice right now. I mean, you don't even know if he drank your apple juice. Like, my nuts. Grow some. <laughs> you that, you yeah, I don't like her attitude, but I also don't like him acting like a know-it-all. Like, he really getting on my nerves. I'm not here. What? I'm not here. I know you heard that. I know you heard that. <laughs> you buddy as hell. Don't make me run these clippers up your ass. <laughs> oh. She told you. <laughs> <laughs> she told you this guy's funny as hell. You all right? Bro, it's so funny how, like, you could tell there's so much tension between each other, but it's just hilarious. Hey, honey, bye. Hey, boo. This is too much. Hi. Okay, take your time. Hmm? Wait, is that his girl? <laughs> He's so shocked. Uh, How much no. I owe you for this? No, 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 no. Put your money away. You take this. This is for you. Thanks, man. You, okay, see? Maybe you'll finally understand what your father used to do. When you're so kind to them and you show them that you care just about the customer themselves, then they feel willingly to give you things. Like, <laughs> pay you, you know? Thanks, man. I appreciate this. Your words were payment enough. What else can I have no, no, for no, you? Can I get some... Get. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's enough, bro. Now you're doing too much. See? Learn the lesson. <laughs> Thanks for the juice, man. 
Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> I'm dead. Hey, hey, fellas, what's up? What's up? Hey, hey, hey what's up? Got the shoes, got the shoes. Why is everyone always coming in here selling stuff? Hey, y'all, look at this lady. Man, what are y'all doing? Somebody car. Jeez. Hey. I bet you it's his car. Crack that windshield. That's what I do. <laughs> I bet you it's his car, man. Crack that with you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good color. A chrome rocker panel. <laughs> Look at him. Nah, you got caught up. Look at you. Oh, she was hitting the wrong car. Come on, I just bought this damn car. That was the <gasps> wrong car. I don't care what it looks like. Wow. Wait a minute. So this ain't Malcolm? I think it's worse that she teared up the wrong person's car talking about my bad girl. I'll beat you up. Hey, Ricky. What's up? I'm finna go get some fish. Hey, man, Ricky is good looking and, and I mean, he good looking too. There's nothing wrong like that. You just kind of, you're a virgin. Your experience is, is prude, you know? So you don't know much. Just be yourself. I'm big boned, Rick. Hefty. There's nothing wrong with being big boned. Hold tight, there's... Plenty of fat brothers pulling good ass. Right. Biggie, Heavy D. They were world famous rappers. I mean, yeah, but it's a good example, though. It doesn't matter how you look. Attitude will push you on. Confidence. Okay. Why don't you write someone some poetry? You will not hesitate. Put the pimp hand down on Jesus himself. He ever made a mistake of disrespecting. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His face is like, ah. Mmm, Calvin, you know you gotta be in your store. I just wish he started like noticing this stuff beforehand. Cause he started to notice the pattern of like what it's really about, you know, the shop and the customers and just making people happy after he took the money. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a tattoo. Say thug nasty, nasty. You ain't gonna get nothing because you can't open the ATM, stupid. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is why he didn't let you go out because you all you were gonna do something stupid regardless and he leaves you here and you still do something stupid. You should have just let him go out and get the damn band-aid. Oh no, no. You dummy, bro. Oh my god. It's literally just like he said, bro. In every movie, in every robbery, anything, it's always a dumb one that's the downfall. You done messed up this room. Man, it's gonna be messed me. up your room, what? You better open up this door. You better call the police. Why are your keys jiggling out there? Talking about your keys jiggling out there. Call the cops then. You better. Hey, wait a minute. I'll take that back. Don't. Nah, nah. It's too late. You shouldn't have said that. You just threatened her to call the cops. Put it down. Oh my gosh. And I want you to see what the word on the street mm -hmm. is. Just hang out at the barbershop. You sure you can handle that? Yes. Oh my gosh. That better, you better be able to handle You got one job. Just hang out at the barbershop. You keep your mouth shut. I want you to be inconspicuous. He's not going to be able to be in. I don't, I don't think he's going to say anything about, you know, stealing it. But he's definitely going to be talking way too much. I feel like you should have drew him a map <laughs> at this point. Come on, Eddie. You know who Rosa Parks is. Man, she was tired. I sat down on a bus and I got thrown in jail. I mean, so did she. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> she did too for sitting on, on the wrong side of the bus. Like, hello? Oh a lot of black folks sat down on bus and they got thrown in jail and they did it way for Rosalie. <sighs> I don't think you understand. Sure, they sat on the bus, but they said they're supposed to sit on the bus, right? Is that black people <laughs> need to stop lying. They is they free. Need to stop lying. Rodney King should have yeah. got an ass beat for driving drunk and being thrown in a Hyundai. <laughs> OJ did it. Oh. <laughs> OJ did it. Don't lie to yourself now. <laughs> OJ did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's wrong disrespectful for you to discuss Rosa Parks in that way. Is it the barbershop? Is it the barbershop? Yes. Is it the barbershop? <laughs> I love the way he talks. Is it the barbershop? You know, this ain't nothing but healthy conversation. That's yeah, all I, mean, got to Rosa Park I mean, I agree. It's good to have, you know, conversations, debates, whatever you want to say like this, especially in a comfortable area. But not when you lying, you straight up disrespect to her. I'll tell you one thing. You better not never let Jesse Jackson hear you talking about that. Fuck <laughs> Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Jesse Jackson. <laughs> oh my god, these dudes are hilarious. Yo, Cal, what's up, man? Where you going? You can't just walk past me like you don't see me. Yo, Cal. He walked past you for a reason. He looking for bro. Is Mr. Wallace in there? Yeah, he here. I lead. You follow. 
I mean, I think he's his protection. So yeah, you can't, you kind of can't just walk past him like that. All I'm saying is I done had a change of heart, had all day to think about it. I'm gonna lose my shop. I just... You should have, yeah, you should have thought about it before you gave him that money or before you took that money because now it's kind of like a done deal, you know? My money ain't good enough for you. I'm just the most street dude. Is that it? This hair look crazy. On the subject of the money I gave you this morning, the money is yours. The shop is mine. He literally looks like a loan shark, though. Jesus Christ, he's ugly. <laughs> he's like, the shop is mine. <laughs> if you were to give me my money by, say, uh... Seven o'clock? No problem. I can do better. Bro, it's literally right here. Mm. <laughs> 40 G. Yeah, it's a he's a he's a loan shark. He gonna want interest. Sorry about any misunderstanding, any kind of way. I'm sorry, but I can't sell my shop to you. Yeah, no, he's definitely not gonna let that slide. He is not gonna let that slide. That's kind of how a loan shark works, you know. You gonna take this no. money? You gonna no. take this money? How you gonna renege? Hey, hey! Run, run! You can't force someone to give you money. What the heck? Or you can't force someone to take money. I don't want it. I don't want it. Shut up. I got a job to do. You better run, man. His fast self can't run. Get her. Go, go, go. There you go. Ooh. Good job. Good juke. Man, I'd rather let the dog eat me up than freaking let this guy get me. Tony, I would have just let I would have just let the dog do it. Like I could have tried to outrun the dog or something, kick the dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nah, you in trouble? Nah, you you gonna get caught so bad right now. You call the other guy dumb. You just as dumb as him. <laughs> They're like, bro, are you serious? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, no, you got caught for sure. <laughs> There's no way. It ain't us, man. Come on, we gotta go. All right, you got to buy lunch. I don't have any money. I would have walked away, let him try to use it, and, and just be like, oh, sorry, it's not working. That's what I would have told him. Oh, yeah. yeah, now they're gonna try to use it. <laughs> oh, the machine broke, y'all. I said the machine broke. <laughs> you gotta try to get that to go away so you can take it again. I'm sorry, I messed up your flowers. They were real pretty. You talking to me? You talking to me? He's so happy. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. I love his little happy personality. That's a love poem by a man named Pablo Neruda. Got me feeling all gentle. <laughs> Got me feeling all gentle. I don't like the way she talks, but I love his happy personality though. It's so sweet. Ah, there's another one up there. Don't forget that other one. You thought you was slick? Hey, baby. Excuse me, bruh. Excuse me, bruh. I will punch him upside his head for real. You supersize me, Mandela. You want to get up off my neck? Kevin. Oh, hold on a second, baby. Well, you don't Why are you talking to him like that? Be gone, Mandingo. Kevin. I'm talking to my lady. Wow. All right. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say. I love you. <clears throat> oh, my God. Are you serious? Don't fall for this shit. Everyone in the barbershop is telling you that he's full of ish, bro. Like, don't do it. Stop. Let's just move on. So what, you, you just gonna break up with me? Yeah. You ain't even all that fine. You, you just average. What? Oh, you was good in bed, you just... really? You so are... Different. Sorry. I'm glad she finally broke up with him because that is like, you already crossed the line talking about you not even that fine. Leave. Out! Out! Clown! <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> you wanna be... <laughs> Holy shit, so let me get my blade. Yeah, you better get out, cause they read they all ready to get on your ass, boy. You better leave. I'ma call your mama and tell her what happened. Get your <laughs> no, but that's beautiful though, man. I love that. They were all ready to hop on and defend her like that. Like they was like, this dude make one wrong move, we all gonna be looking at him sideways. <laughs> I, it must feel so nice for her to be like the only girl in the barbershop, but still be so loved. Must feel nice. Oh, nice. Y'all are just having so much bad luck because y'all are crappy robbers. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Yeah, he's stressed. Hey, what you got? 
Do you and nothing need a ride? Oh uh, yeah, bring that nothing on. Do you and nothing need a ride? Can you see What? Who is shooting? Is that the car? I thought they were shooting. Okay, all right, Galen, you take. I thought that was Usher for a second. <laughs> what are you looking at? She laughing at Kid Rock. Oh man, don't hate on me just because you're a sellout. I, I didn't hear that. What was that? Ooh. Right. You got the black girlfriend. You got the pimped out ride, and I'm a sellout. Wow. You know what I think? You wish you were me. You have my fly ass girlfriend and my pimped out ride. True, he does. That's why he always looking at you. He's jealous. It's true. You're not black, Jimmy. I'm blacker than you. And what's messed up is in your best day you could never be me. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. He he treating you right now. <laughs> Hey man, I like how they release that. That's another thing I love about this too. Look how they release the tension by just turning on music and everyone just having fun and chilling. Oh my God, dude, you still dance like a white guy though. <laughs> Look at everybody dancing. Uh, this feels like this should be like at the end of the movie though. This literally feels like this should be at the end of the movie where everyone's just dancing and chilling. Now look, he gonna look in there, see everyone having a good time, everyone happy, and it's gonna make him want the place even more. Like, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's gonna suck to tell them that he sold it. Run. It's the hottest thing on the street right now. All the youngsters actually. He's not gonna get no, like, the only thing I'm thinking about is he has to come up 20 G's in very, very little time, but also has his wife about to have a baby. Like, how are you going to afford that child? That's all I'm wondering. You understand? No, I don't understand. No, I don't understand. You missed. Why are you being all happy and you missed? I'm sure everybody in here would love to get a hand out. They're handing it out. I ain't gonna turn down nothing but my car. Yeah, this dude's a butthole. Like, why on earth is he? Oh my god, he's always talking crap. Like, shut up. You really think you a know it all? That boy ain't doing nothing now but the information. Bad credit. Man, slavery, man. <laughs> it ruined my whole life. Y'all don't do nothing all day. <laughs> Supposed to be cutting hair, y'all don't do nothing. Didn't get money, dog. Holocaust survivors Look, got we money. Had and affirmative act. Is that not respiration? Yeah, y'all arguing about the wrong things just because bro think he had know it all. I'm so sick of him. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. I mean, you don't know he if he did anything though. Like he could, it could have just been for protection. He could just have it for protection. Restraint, restraint, Man. some discipline. Whatever. Don't They're go like, what the hell are you talking about? <gasps> you stealing money? But that was a passionate and surprisingly well articulated argument. Dude, you are literally being a straight. Like, why are you being an asshole when you're agreeing with him? He's saying exactly what you're saying. Before it comes to your dinner plate, it got two shells wrapped around it, just like a clam. <laughs> Shut your ass up, boy. You think you know it all. You don't know nothing. <laughs> Nigga never come to see me. Grandma, did you say something? You know, Grandma don't see a hit. <laughs> oh my God, she know you up to something. She's like, man, you don't ever come see me. What the hell? Why does your grandma have so many tools? Unless like he has a grandpa with him, right? If she's married and, and has a husband or something that I understand, but just a straight grandmother? How many times I told you not to come in here to listen? Are you retarded? Oh, come on, don't use that word. Oh, what about when Eddie was having tax problems? I got him a new social. I'm part of this shop too, man. Yo, dad used to do it. Like, I bet you that's what he's gonna say. Don't buy nothing from me. Got a phone for me trying to put it behind. <laughs> I said, don't buy nothing from this. I messed up bad. What do? Can't get it up? What? Bro, why, why you want to let me start thinking about his penis? That's not what he's talking about. This is the barbershop. The place where a black man means something. Mm hmm. Can't you see that? That sucks. And I think he's the oldest person there, so I know it probably hurts for him a lot more. Yo daddy may not have had a whole lot of money. Oh, but he was rich because he invested in people. That's true though. Like his dad was just a good person. He was rich in, in life. Rich in life does not always mean financially. End of the day, I was glad I was here. Now you. I sold to daddy's barbershop. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you gonna have to tell him. Look at me. He gonna end up telling him anyways. Bam! 
<laughs> I got the job. Now I can put my Really? See, my sister-in-law been keeping it, but she a crackhead, and I can't have that. Oh, it's always about the story, but I'm glad he came. If he didn't come back and pay him, that would have been horrible. But since he came back and paid him, that's so sweet, man. And then he told him why, too. Like, no charge, no charge. Congratulations on your new job, man. Aww. Come on, come on, your job. Come on, your job. It's gonna suck when they gotta tell him. You know, it'd be really cool though if they like if he tells them and then they they come up with the twenty G's for him. We're gonna be closing up the shop today. I only got about an hour, or so. No, you guys not hearing me. Yeah, this is so sad, man. They're all so upset. I sold the shop. You what? You mean like you don't own the awesome. shop no more? Jesus Christ, they're so upset. When I close the shop tonight, it's closing for good. Oh, man, you can't oh my gosh, man. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Wow, man. I mean, I can understand why he's so upset. Like, this has been his home, you know? Oh, no. I was Oh, crap. Wait, wait, wait. What? Why are they taking him? He didn't even do anything. Rick, call me as soon as they let you use the phone. I, they don't have any proof that he did anything. I don't think they have any proof that he did anything because the detective didn't make it seem like he did. And from the looks of it, it looks like these two idiots did it. Unless he hired them. He could have hired them too, so. At the barbershop. All day? You got cut. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> you got cut. <laughs> right, right. Who lined you up? Oh, it was Jimmy. Who did yeah, it. Jimmy. Oh, what the heck is going on? Why are you fighting? <laughs> you told him wait at the barbershop. You didn't give him a time to come back. Man, I'm telling you, it was like SWAT. <sighs> I mean, they don't know you guys. I wouldn't have made it alive if I wouldn't have did the shake move on a man. Crap up out of there. Mm -mm, you're so dumb. Night you borrowed my truck. I've been calling you all day about the bumper. Now they got photos of the plate. Wow. Did you just say two time loser? As in your third strike? <gasps> so it's not even his fault. You do get out. I'm gonna be long gone. Woohoo! Hey, drop the soap. <clears throat> wow, are you serious? So I, I thought like maybe he hired them, but in reality, they took his truck and wow, that's ridiculous. I ain't pretending to be someone I saw on TV. This is who I am. If you like it or not, I'm gonna be like this tomorrow. Yeah, maybe you should stop being an asshole to people. That's how you lose friends. All right, man, let's see. Let's see what? You're saying this is who you are, this is who you're gonna be, right? Hook me up. Ooh, okay. He gonna prove him wrong. Watch, his hair gonna look good as hell, though. How much you wanna bet? His hair gonna look real good. I just learned how to fade hair. Like, I be, I be like trying to watch stuff because I want to learn, you know, but it's hard. <laughs> Especially for a girl. I don't be fading my hair, you know? Ooh, boy, look clean. That line is straighter than me. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. I thought he was gonna put a bald spot on him just because of what he did to the kid. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad you came to your senses. Why is that? Because I was running out of insults. <laughs> I was running out of insults. <laughs> this white dude's funny as hell. Why he laughing? What's funny? <laughs> damn man if this is how they act now like so natural and, and and just enjoying themselves and comfortable here i can only imagine through all these years like and it's shutting down like ugh, that sucks 1958 like that's a ridiculously long time i don't know if this movie's based the year it came out but that's a really long time. You want to sell used tub caps? I don't know, fong underwear. I'm with you. You know mm -hmm. that. I'm glad she's supportive, but she knows you shouldn't have sold that shop. If it doesn't work out, you know, you can always just go work for my uncle. Ooh, where your uncle work? You know I can't stand your uncle. And we can't stand you. He'll give you a job as a favor to me. Uh, no, let's not do that with my uncle. What are you going to Chicago Police Department for? Oh, get him? I didn't do it. I 
thought you did it, I wouldn't have never bailed you out. Right, what the heck? You wouldn't be here. Damn sure wouldn't be out here freezing my balls off. Let's go, man. Aww, that's so nice. Cousin or not, man. People like that always get dizzy. Man. That's right, that's right. You know what? I'm going to make sure that he get here. Nay, hey, 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 don't. I was say, don't try to kill him or nothing, because then you're going to go right back to jail. going to throw your life away and throw away bail money, all the money I put up for you. Mm-hmm. You know what, Cap? You know what? Just pull over. Just pull over. No, because you need to hear this. You need to understand what he's saying. Like, you're literally going to throw your life away. He gave you a second chance after you got your third strike, and you're going to sit here and throw it away just because someone else did it to you like oh stupid i wasn't expecting him to throw the the gun over the balcony like that we're gonna see left the wireless get my barbershop back you wait till i throw out my gun and tell me we <laughs> right you should let him keep the gun at least for a threat or something that means i still know what the hell i'm doing all right <gasps> let, me look. let me find out he's in lester's warehouse Yo, can you imagine if they catch him and Lester in the same spot? Yo! Bro, stop, man. You don't know how to do nothing. That look like my grandma in the truck right there. Uh-oh. That means JD here, though. Wait a minute. Don't open the door. He gonna go beat the shit out of him right now. JD! Hey, Brent, no! Oh no, you are not running. Original extra crispy, huh, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you had it coming, bro. You had it coming. And then Lester's there too. Look at him. You don't have the 40 grand to buy it back. And you don't even have the 20 grand I gave you this morning? Wow. Chicago PD might have a problem with this ATM machine sitting in the Ooh. middle of your floor because they've been looking for it all day. <laughs> he just got you set up. Bigger problems than that, though. Like them stolen car parts over there? Ooh. I have to use that on me, big boy. It's like I said, I ain't going nowhere. I got too much. Yeah, you're going to have to use it, big boy. Come on, do it. He's not going to do it. It's been in my family too long. 40 years. 40 years. My goodness, that's a long time. You all right? I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be arrested anyways. <laughs> Good. They go to thugs you want over there. Huh? Seven Fred. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad you said we good though because it could have been like, nah, these dudes are chop shop and they, they got ATM. <laughs> they was all in on it. <laughs> Peep this out. Yeah, what's it? You get a reward if you turn this in. Did you know that? Oh. Remember who found this? What? He got literally ten thousand more than what he was supposed to pay back. Oh my god, that's amazing. Todd, I'm gonna move to Arizona. Nice down there. Like that can't be a coincidence. Do not get this fool started no, on Martin Luther King. Luther King. Martin Luther King was a hoe. <laughs> oh my God! Here we go. <laughs> really? <laughs> so come Martin Luther King birthday, I want everybody to take the day off and get your freak on. <laughs> <laughs> get your freak on. Look how he's joining. The, look how Calvin is joining in the conversation now, though. Isn't that sweet? Look at it. it looks like a family barbershop again. So friendly. So nice. I love. Love it, man. Look at how happy everyone is. It's funny because at the beginning of the movie, the barbershop looked like dark all around it and stuff. And now it just looks like bright and glowing. Like, I'm loving it. No it's beautiful. And he got his baby. Who drank my goddamn apple juice? Oh my God. Who is drinking this woman's goddamn apple juice? <laughs> she said, that's why I spit in it. <laughs> I really enjoy that, man. It felt so good to me. Like, I needed that today. I was really tired and really just kind of dragging because I've been having to do so much today. And this movie just, it just made my day. It just made my day. Like I told y'all, I'm really for the story plot. And the story was amazing. Just the, the family-oriented feeling was just so good. Um, and it was funny. So I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to that. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank Thank you guys so much for watching thank you for tuning in this has been mj and don't ask about spider-man peace Stop.